What's up guys? I'm in the garage getting on a project. I know I've been talking about this all the time, but I'm going to be working on the fuel system today. What you'll be hearing in the background is my little bro, my little dude working with me. He mainly likes to get screwdrivers out and stick them into uh, basically anything he can, which sounds weird, Daddy, but that that's the one dude. Daddy, that one. So what we're going to be doing today Fuel pressure regulator, autom aeromotive fuel pressure regulator. Uh, maybe, well, I don't think I'll be putting in the pump in, but I'll be looking at hooking up fuel filter, fuel pump, and getting some lines laid down. And it's bumpy because he's running around hitting the, hitting the video. So I'll set it up and we'll, uh, we'll tinker around and I'll see how I like it. Basically right now I'm just trying to <laughs> just trying to mount everything up so that I know where everything is going to go and make sure that all I have enough fittings uh, because I, I have like a million AN fittings. So that's what we're doing now. built after jacking around finding out that these pieces are not it's not lefty it's not righty tighty lefty loosey the bottom piece is lefty loosey or lefty tighty so the first one that I made took way too long and then I realized that I was doing it wrong so making these is way easier when you know what you're doing or learn the correct way or teach yourself the correct way the second couple came out like an eighth of the time because I was fighting myself. Anyhow, now what we have is this. That goes a fuel rail. It's a return line. This is an inlet line. And that is going to go right here. Like this. I'm just kind of soft mounting this right now because I'm gonna pull it all apart again when I get this all squared away. These are gonna go down along the cage. And I may need to move it around a little bit and stuff like that to get it squared away. But those are gonna go along the cage. And let me show you where those come out. So those come out down here and they're going to go basically along this tube, locked into this tube and I'll have a hard line right here. This is the old hard line. I was going to tee off that, but I don't want to do that. I want it to go straight along here. I don't want it sitting. I might even make a plate to where it's behind a plate so there are no rocks or nothing can get up in there. So that's the plan. Return line, main line, and then I'll hard line it all the way back to the fuel cell. So, a little bit of progress. I'm excited. Those uh, those fuel lines are pretty cool. Once you once you don't screw them up, they're pretty easy to uh, pretty easy to build with the AN lens and stuff. So, yeah, more work in the race truck today. You are looking at another one hundred dollars worth of AN fittings. That's exciting. We got uh, female to female, male on male, another male on male, reducer, female and male. There's a big female and a small male, as you can see, two of those. One big male with one big female and two males. Two, yeah, no, those are two females. A lot of male and female, male on male, male on male, female, female, male stuff going on. Um, Got this done, I kind of mounted it up, you can see. So now it's um, it's kind of kind of mounted on this uh, this bracket right here that, uh, that's for the uh, engine cover. So I got that mounted up. Yeah, so these female to male, all that stuff, that's gonna go on 
this right here. Basically return line, pickup, dipstick, vent, etc. So this will probably get cleaned up a little bit before I get after it. But um, yeah, so I gotta get to that. And that I'll do like a finishing move on the fuel system, but it's just more of getting it figured out. That's what uh, takes so long. And also, I don't know if you saw, obviously the manifold's off, but I uh, got these painted. This area is painted. So that's done. Baby steps. I love that sound.